halfway, past halfway. Huh? Oh. Just to the con. Con down. Yeah. Just to make you want to stay excited. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's I'm a piece of the tune, so. Oh, but if you want, you can play the Christmas song again. You can play the more for me. When is it time to dance? Did you dance? A little bit? Oh. Oh, no one dancing. I feel fucking to see. But <laughs> it's, it feels so good in my own heart. It's my life. Uh, yeah, it's an acoustic tour. The, the first night of the tour, we had such a good time in our tiny. It was like everyone had a good time. You're having a good time, right? Like it's a good time. <laughs> Uh, an incredible amount of depressing music, but somehow we make it seem like it's a really fun, upbeat experience. Um, but anyway, all the reviews were really positive. All the fans were like, "Oh my god, I'm so great! Oh my god, I'm loving my shirt! Oh my god, I'm so great! Look at my photos!" And, but one person was like, "Okay, like holy shit, this was an acoustic tour? I had no idea." Where's the drums? What's that now? Where's the drums? Exactly, where are the drums, right? And then a few nights later, someone wrote a review that basically said the show was great, but then she was like, you know, the drums were noticeably missing. Like, huh? And then that person, people called that person out, I felt bad for this, and then she was like, oh, I got dragged on stage by Tegan. But I didn't drag her, I just read her review. Sorry that you didn't, you didn't agree with her. I didn't matter. I don't think it's, the drums are noticeably absent. I think when we said acoustic tour, that was like... <laughs> We, we debated it though, we constantly talked about this because we were, we thought, originally we were like, how long do you think you're going to talk about? I need to go in the bathroom. Go! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm just going to laugh at Go! Oh, no, really? I don't need you here. I don't need you. I don't Go! Go to the game. Game's to go to. Tell the game to go. You want to go to? Jesus. <laughs> Anyway, for years I've been saying that, that you know, starting with So Jealous, I mean, even actually before that, if it was you in 2002 when we put it out, we've, all, we've been touring with a full band for 15 years, and uh, there was maybe two or three tours we've done in 15 years where we went out acoustically. We opened for Ryan Adams, we opened for Ben Folds. Yeah, like, but otherwise we've gone out full band, and then and then in the last couple years, you know, gone out full band, but also like big production, and people always come up to me at the bathrooms, at, at cinemas, and like, they're like, you're so short, and also when you guys feel acoustically, and like, yeah, we can. Yeah. So then we do, and like, first review I read of like, drums are noticeably. <laughs> No, but it's true, they are absolutely absent. But um <laughs> But we kinda wanted this. We felt like we kind of we felt like we I mean you don't have to justify it, you bought the ticket. You bought the ticket. <laughs> Good of a time. We're talking about how like fun it is to mess up every night. And we, the four of us go backstage and we're like, "Did you hear what I like?" Tim always says, "When I got jazzy, like he plays notes that don't belong." Or like, remember when I just didn't play at all and I had to do with the song? And it's great. It feels really good because when it's like full band or like pop world, there's like tracks, there's things happening. It's like when you fuck up, you're just like, "It's a train wreck." Aiming for YouTube, you know, like end of career kind of. <laughs> Thank you, one person. Oh, oh shit, look who's back. I feel like I had to go change your diaper. Yeah, and people are like, when are we going to dance? I'm like, we're old now. I just had to go to the bathroom the last three years. So. All right, this next song is about uh, not being old. I wrote it at 26 about feeling 19. Been asked what that means, and I just want to say 10 years into it, I don't know. I guess 
I wasn't specifically even talking, I was actually talking about someone I'd met that, that year. So I met, I met someone when I was 26, but I was like, like, I'm 19, call, I mean, like, I was basically proclaiming to be super immature. <laughs> you were, you were, you were feeling the feelings that one feels when they first feel them. Yeah. I explicitly Confucius or whatever you are. <laughs> You're not stoned. Okay? It's just, we're older and we've all been hydrating a lot and we're so very dehydrated. Yeah. Anyway, the point was I was going to say was that, was that I was t- I'm saying 19 was my way of saying like not teenage love, but like first love. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> 